So here we are in Grian's barge, and when I step over this pressure plate, yeah, I'm messing things up. I have heard a lot about these mystery boxes over here. There are 100 diamonds each, but this one, or these ones, are treasure hunts. I am going to sign up this time, for sure. Uh, also, I noticed there isn't any ender chests around here, so let's go and make this nice and neat and symmetrical. Put one down on this side as well. And now I can actually get to my diamonds. So, 100 diamonds, in we go, and then we get to pick one of these. As you'll see, my reward is good for hermits who don't mind what they get. For hermits who like red dust. For hermits who want non-specific items. Hermits who like to build a lot. And for hermits that don't mind what they get. Now I can't help but feel that this right here is a sign and that maybe it's going to be like the goofy one of them or the one that's not quite what you think. I'm going to take it because I feel like none of these specifically hint at something I know I would want. So I'm going to take that one. Now I'm sure you're dying to know what is inside of this chest. Well, lots of eggs and none of which have been renamed as far as I'm aware. But the villager head in the middle has been and look inside the largest of three. It is... A cryptic clue. And you know what cryptic clues do? They they melt my mind. Fortunately though, this one I don't think is going to be too difficult. I've already got some ideas. There has been a recent addition of these three trophies. However, when I come over here, this one being the largest obviously, there doesn't appear to actually be anything on the inside. And then I notice these. There are three rockets and one of them is larger than the others. So let's break the wall, pop on inside, and ugh, mycelium, get rid of it! And yes, there there doesn't appear to be any sort of hint or clue. I don't think this was it. There are three giant flowers over here, and this one is clearly the largest of all. But there doesn't appear to be anything here. There are also three concrete shops, and our one is clearly the largest, but I have found nothing out of the ordinary inside of here. Our clue, look inside the largest of three. Well, I can't thank you all enough for your help last episode with the comments, because I needed help with this clue. And there were two suggestions, okay? I actually looked over here at the logs blimp, and for some reason I didn't count them as three. I sort of saw them as two and one, which is just silly. And I've also had a suggestion to check out Mount Scarmore. Apparently there are three faces on the wall over here, although I only see two, and Scars is the largest of them. And this one has been blown open, and there is nothing on the opposite side. So fingers crossed, this is the one. Let's bust into the logs blimp, which is a beautiful blimp, by the way. And there might just be a clue in here. Oh yeah, mobs won't spawn, right? There are shulker boxes. No. It's just magenta wool. Oh. Oh, it's not over here then. Time for some pro skills. I place the block and then I'm outside. I just happen to know exactly where our clue is supposed to lead us to. That's right, that's right. The clue is actually in the very first place that we looked. And the reason that I know this is because I wanted to confer with Grian that this was limited to the shopping area around us. And then we got talking a little bit further and I mentioned that I had already looked it and he said, no, this is where it is. So in a ways I've kind of been told, but I'm happy because I had already looked here, right? And here's the thing. I watched back the footage where we jumped down here and had a look around and I somehow just managed to manoeuvre through this area with the front of this block never catching my eye. You couldn't see it on the screen for not even a split second. And if I'd have seen that little item frame... Well, I would have gotten my hands on this book last time round. But this is our second clue. So floating in the sky with plants that only grow upwards, break inside to find your next clue. Now, what kind of plant only grows upside down? Maybe that kind of plant. It looks like we might be heading straight to the blimp. I stuck my head out over here, looked around, and the vine caught my eye. I think we're going to find it straight away, peeps. Okay, we're breaking into another one, a Ren's Blimp. So inside of here, things are a little different. They're lit with lanterns, but there's a very obvious map on the ground with a literal X on it. That is the treasure right there. Plain and clear. 
Let's head over to Fulce's base. I know exactly where this is. I also kind of expected to see a dot on this map as I head towards the area. I think it's actually locked, and if a map is locked, then that feature is removed. I wasn't quite aware of that. Anyway, you can see we're definitely in the right area, right? There is a very unique resemblance going on here. Oh, actually, that dot on the map has appeared. Was it not there a moment ago? <laughs> Could have swore it wasn't there a moment ago. Okay, we're pretty much standing on X right now. Oh, okay, there's, there's then grass down here. We go underneath. Oh, it looks like that is literally it. That's got to be it right there. Okay, this could be yet another clue. Oh, it says it's a clue. Go back to the beginning and dig down. If I get technical about this, the place where it all started was right here. And, you know, what's the biggest joke of all? Hiding the prize right under your nose. And what would you know? A whole bunch of shulker boxes? However, not one directly below my parrot, but does that just mean all of these are for me? <gasps> Ooh, goodies, goodies, goodies. Oh my goodness me, look at all the, oh wow, the logs, that's awesome. Carrots, carrots, rockets. I believe all of these boxes might be for me. Fortunes, they shine upon us, my friends. There was actually a couple of, <laughs> the mumbo head. Join the resistance? Never, Mumbo. Never, surely not. Well, back to our fortunes. There is actually two additional shulker boxes, right? Hidden under the other ones. The dies are fantastic. I appreciate that. And a whole box of rockets. That is going to last us a long, long time. Did you enjoy the clip? Then subscribe for more because my second channel is where we post clips as well as the VODs of the live streams that I do on twitch.tv slash which many of the clips come from. Anyway, thanks for subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.